Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6. Now today we are going to be continuing on and expanding upon the brutal deity concept. We're going to be playing on deity difficulty. We're again going to be playing on the Pangea map just so there's not much separation between the players. We're going to go up to a standard size game with eight players, but we're going to add one, two, three, four, like we did in the last series. But instead of adding 24 city states, what we're going to do is we're going to divide the number of city states by three. OK, so that's uh, eight. And that's how many extra players we're going to add. Although that might be a bit too much because they all get three cities each. So maybe I'll just add like, what do we got right now? 12? We'll try it out. We'll see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Five, six, seven, eight. And we'll take away all the city states. So there are no city states in this game, which is going to make it even harder. So right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we've got 20 civilizations here in the game. I'm going to have them mostly be random. We're not going to know who it is in the game. Now, I have been having a real think about who I want to play. I kind of want to play Alexander, but I did recently play him. Um... And we kind of went for a conquest heavy game last time. So I don't know what kind of game I want to do this time. I kind of want to play Genghis Khan, but I feel like he would be kind of easy mode. I want to play something that maybe is a little bit more challenging. Like maybe I could go for a religious victory or something. Um, or maybe I could play like Movemba. I don't know. It's, it's hard to know exactly what I'm going to do here. Hmm. I could also play Rome. I have played Rome recently, though. I might also just go random and then just go with whatever the game gives me. And we'll kind of see how it goes. Because I have fully expect to die multiple times in the starting, like, attempt of this game. Um, what I will do is I will save this configuration as even more brutal deity. So this is like the e extended cut of brutal deity. This is a map with a size for eight players with 20 players packed onto it with no city state. So we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well. I'm going to just play random and see who I get. Who cares? Whatever. Make it even harder, you know? The most brutal deity. If you have ideas. Oh, no. Please, no. Not tomorrow. <laughs> I would get the least my least favorite civilization in the game. Oh boy, and I can't even use the protector at war thing because city states don't exist. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what to say, man. This is, uh. This is easily probably one of the worst civilizations I could have got for this challenge, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, okay? We're gonna. We're gonna give it a go. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Very nice, very nice. I'm a big fan of this flat land with no fresh water. Uh, you know, with... Uh, oh, hello. Is that what I think it is right there? Okay. Alright, this is workable. Let me just scout down here and see what the story is. I kind of want to settle beside this, so I kind of want to settle on this rice. But that would, like, use up that rice, which kind of sucks. But it would give me access to this to these tiles. Man, that culture is going to be insane. I would have no production in my capital. That's a problem. A crazy culture, though. Could also go here. Get fresh water, get that deer, have all these hills later on. I feel like this is, like, the super awesome choice because it would have a really hard game ahead of us. But I feel like this is the safer choice because I'd have access to hills and sheep and stuff like that relatively quick. So, even though this is really appealing to me, I'm going to go here. Even though I'm settling on a desert tile, I'm not really getting much out of this. Um, just the fact that I have access to hills is just so important. Um, but I can't actually settle this turn, which, which does kind of suck. But I think that's a sacrifice you make. Because I definitely didn't want to settle over here. No, I could even move one more tile this way and have access to these two sheep and deer. And I think I will move one more tile since I'm here and I may as well. Plus, we get an error score for settling in the desert, which is really nice. 
Um, so normally I would maybe open with a slinger. I think I'm going to open with a scout this game. Yeah, it looks like we've already found another civilization down here. I'm pretty much going to go straight for archery. We're going to need that to defend ourselves. Also, can I just say I do really love the music of Georgia. Um, it's a really great tune. It just has this very epic sort of, you know, um, choral feel to it. Okay, that is Persia. Let's not meet Persia yet. I don't want him to know that I exist. I'm going to loop around this lake. Damn it. I will send... Oh, I can't afford to send him a delegation. That's bad. That's bad that Persia knows we exist uh, this soon into the game. There is some pretty good land around here, but we're gonna be we're gonna be in some trouble here. There's Arabia. There are so many civilizations in this game. I can send him a delegation though. There is really not a lot of room. He stole my uh thing there. Okay, we'll scout down this way. Oh my god. Could, do I really need these neighbors? Are these the neighbors that I deserve? What is going on here? Persia, Arabia, and Alexander. Okay. Uh, yeah, we definitely need another warrior. I don't think we can go straight settler here. Um, it's just too dangerous. So I'm going to go for a second warrior. We just need units to defend ourselves. Um, because if anybody gets, like, the bright idea to come attack me, it's all over. So the second warrior will make the difference. There's Wilhelmina, okay. Your delegation is most welcome. Okay, so Arabia isn't super hateful. Yeah, look, we've got actually a slightly positive, positive relationship there, which is pretty good. Um, okay, let's pop over here. There's an okay Petra over here, maybe. If I was if there was some flatland desert around. Let's pop up here. Okay, we do have some freshwater land. We're probably only going to be able to settle like two cities this game. But I'm going to go warrior into settler, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, I need to get back here and defend. Alright. Arabia is coming to fight. Don't work the culture, work this. I need the production to get these warriors out faster. Let's get archers going. Like, this just might be a series where I die a lot. And that we're just gonna have to accept that that's what happens. Um, plus one production. Kinda want the gold and faith, actually, to get a pantheon early. In this particular game, I think that's really valuable, because I'm not going to get- I'm not really going to get Settlers out. Uh, okay, can I purchase a unit? No, they're too expensive. Shit. Well, I do have this lake, which will prevent the city from getting fully surrounded, which is good. We are just going to be making warriors for a while to defend off this push. This is the hard thing about Didi, man, is surviving this initial push, it can be rough. Yeah, look at this minor defeat stuff going on. I think we're just dead. I pretty much just built a warrior and died. <laughs> I mean, that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. Let's see if we can maybe bait some attacks with this guy. Um, you need to stay fortified in that city. Okay, you need to keep retreating to somewhere where you can heal. So hopefully they'll attack again with some of these units and I can get a kill on one. Maybe I'll get a kill on both, we'll see. Okay.
Okay, I should be able to get a kill here. Oh, you really can't attack there? Damn. I do have to come out and get this kill, though. That does mean my city might take some extra damage. I'm going to get you to sit there for a turn and you'll heal. Oh, come on. This is just unnecessary. <laughs> uh, get inside the city. Provide it with defense. The city will heal a little bit over time. I don't even have time to defend myself, dude. See if you can bait a few attacks. I just can't- I can't lose any units, like that's really important for my defense. Bring that dude's health down, that'll be good. Okay, we can get this kill here. It will cost us a scout. I think we can get this kill too. It will cost us a warrior. Oh man, we might not be able to get this kill. Man, we've got warriors coming in to be annoying. Man, did they really have to attack me? Like, of all the people in the whole game they could have attacked, it had to be me. Okay. My city is holding, just barely. Okay, we lost that guy. Getting the city heal up. You should be in a position to maybe take a hit there next turn. <laughs> Man, this warrior is just looping around trying to survive from these barbs chasing them. Okay, looks like they randomly attacked me. Okay, there's even more barb spotting. <laughs> how are we surviving, man? I don't know how we're going to survive this. This is looking rough. Do you want peace yet? One more turn. We just need to survive one more turn. You might take peace. He'll give me one gold per turn. Okay, we took the piece. <sighs> Alright. Uh, heal for a turn. Heal for a turn. Alright, we are in pretty bad shape already this far into the game. But I mean, we have this. This is like our saving grace. If we can manage to hold on to this and make something happen out of it, we're in great, we're in great shape. Just keep healing up, boys. Um, I think I'm going to move you here so this guy attacks you, and then when this guy spawns, I'll be able to kill that unit. You just keep healing up one turn at a time. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Now you should be able to get this kill. Ah, uh, crap. Alright, fall back. We'll make one archer. Okay, you keep going this way. Heal up. You get this kill, that'll get you a promotion. You should survive this. I'm pretty sure you should survive this and then you'll be able to promote. Then, um... Kind of want to unlock iron. So I can get swordsman here early and maybe push someone. It's going to be my only real strategy, I think. This fast swordsman. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to expand, really. I will be putting in... I need to keep discipline locked in. I would love to put in a gog. Um, but I need to keep discipline locked. Yeah, these tiles are fine. That culture is going to be real handy. If 
foreign trade go? I might go for military tradition early here. So that I can get that combat support bonus. I wouldn't normally go for it this early. Although I'm worried that this warrior will come out and attack here. That's like my biggest worry right now. I should have moved this guy here. Yeah. Should have moved this guy here to block. That was a mistake on my part. Didn't, didn't properly look at the battlefield and, and make a make a reasonable decision there. We can get some victories here though. Losing one warrior in this situation is honestly not too bad. Considering how bad our situation was, uh, losing one, totally acceptable. Hey, we've got these guys healing up. I don't know why he's coming back to me. Just stop. Yeah, I'd love to kill there, but you would take too much damage. I'm going to pop you into here so that you might be able to take out this warrior next turn. You're pretty well healthy. So you should, should be able to get a kill. And then promote before they get you. Even with two slingers, you should be able to promote. Ah, man. Give me a break, like. He's in a defensive tile as well. I think this counts as forest. I don't know, though. Lost two warriors. That's brutal. That's like most of my early game production gone. Some of these guys already have districts going. 16 signs per turn. It's ridiculous. It's not what I meant to do. Go ahead and take Battle Cry. Gives you more damage. Alright, looks like somebody's already died. But we survived, which is good. We survived. That's that's the most important thing there. Okay. Don't think we're going to be able to go for a religion this game. As Well, actually, there's so many people. We might be able to just go for one. Is there any point, though? You know, then maybe there is. Uh, I think I'm going to skip a religion this game. Just go for some sort of military thing that I can do, because I'm already getting hemmed in. I need to go, I need to go, like, pretty much immediately for swordsmen. Um, well, if I'm going to do that, I should really get riding. So that I can get a campus out. Get a campus, go straight for encampments. Alright, do I have room for one settler? Not really. I get a settler over here, this would give me access to horsemen. Um... Alright, let's have a look. Maybe we can get one settler out. Yeah, we have a good number of starting units. We just gotta figure out who we're gonna attack. Because we need to attack. This is, like, way harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh god. Um... We got a really rough start, so I don't think we can go for a religion, just because we had so many people attacking us. We had, like, Arabia and two barbarian camps spawning into us. That's a rough start. Although I do have a Pantheon now, which is going to make things a decent amount easier. So what I could go for here is... I'm not going to be really building holy sites, so I want to get something that's going to give me some, like, benefit. Um... Or war. That harvesting pantheon is gone. So city patron goddess is okay because it would let me build districts quicker in my cities. But most of the cities I'm going to be conquering will have districts. Uh, I don't need these two. I don't need these. I have plenty of culture. So I might just take something that like gives me healing. Because somebody's going to build holy sites. And then it'll give me a way to just sustain my war effort better. Yeah, I think I'm going to take God of Healing. I won't get any benefit until I conquer a um, thing, though. All religions, 105, eh? Only going to be five religions this game, apparently, for 20 players. Alright, here they come back.
Let's make sure we're in a position to defend. We got military tradition, so we have the support bonuses, which is good. I want to get the political philosophy as fast as possible, so I'm just going to take the fastest route. You stay there. Alright, he's already got walls. That's like super not good. Shoot that slinger. Should be able to prevent them from completely surrounding the city. The archer will do a lot of work here, I think. Your delegation is most welcome. I think we can kill the slinger with this guy. Let's do damage here. We'll probably attack him next turn. Don't want to use up my health and my units unless I have to. I've got plenty of city health to tank with for a while. Fortify there. You might struggle actually against these guys. Shoot that guy. Get him to retreat so we take less damage next turn. You fall back a tile. That's okay. Fortify. Fortify. Let's soften this guy up. Go for the kill. I wish I had those two other warriors, man. It would make this so much easier. And I shouldn't be building a settler. Okay, we just lost. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I guess that's it. We're gonna try again. <laughs> I'm going to have to like figure out a way to keep up track of just how many times I've tried. Uh, but yeah, we're going to basically do that again. Single player, create game, advanced setup, load configuration, even more brutal deity. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to like, just like randomly type in a seed. All right, looks like we'll be playing Loud Tower on the next episode. So if you guys want to see that, tune in tomorrow. I love you all very much. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my absolute failure in the face of this brutal deity playthrough. Uh, I think I'll probably give it like 10 attempts. If I fail 10 times in a row to get a game going, we'll, uh, we'll probably like make it a little bit easier. But yeah, I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.